Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and this is episode 14 of Moto2 Career Mode. So, if you missed the last episode, go watch it. It was a really, really interesting episode. Uh, we managed to come from Q1 into Q2 and take first by the first corner and managed to win. So go check that one out. It's a great race in India. So overall in the standings, we are 22 points ahead of... Why is it given me Mark Marquez's number behind me? I, I'm, I'm not Mark. We, 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 are, we are 38, not 93. So I don't even know if there's a bit of a mix up there. But anyway, um, we are 22 points ahead of Arbolino and 56 ahead of Costa going into the flyaway part of the season. Let's have a check at our wall. Great victory for C Racing. I'll have to try to see what went wrong with the team so we can recover Brody and Otegi. Uh, I mean, Kinect crashed. That was that was it. Um, not too dissimilar to what he can do in real life um, as well. But uh, at the time of this recording, uh, he has had a win. So maybe things are turning around. Anyway. We've got to finish in front of Acosta in the standings. We've got Japan, Mandalika, Phillip Island, our home race. Then we've got circuits that I enjoy coming up, circuits that I'm hmm, mid up, but we did have a good Moto3 race here and a circuit that I don't really like. So not many rounds left to go now. We just have Japan, Mandalika, Phillip Island, Island. Excellent. Let's see if we can round this season out the right way. Now we're going to have a wet race in Motegi. So the last time we had a wet condition race was back in Austria, uh, which we did manage to dominate quite clearly before the red flag came out as we're on the last lap. Um, so hopefully we can maintain good pace in the wet and keep ourselves dominant in this Moto2 championship uh, better than I was expecting so far. Okay, stay, stay tuned and see you down in qualifying. Okay, so we're here in the bottom qualifying. We had some okay race pace, but just couldn't seem to put it together for a hot lap. But anyway, let's go out there and see what we can do. Let's see if we can put in a solid lap. Okay, we're just trying to stay as smooth as possible here. Exit's not great there, but we might have built up enough time. And just to put a 51 144. Thank you. 
touch the curbs there and we're down. We were making a pretty good time there. We're looking to make an improvement. Let's see if our lap has enough to stand on its own. Almost down there again. I think we're going to be okay at this point, so I'm going to go into the pits. And save our tyres for qualifying one. Go watch the session. They are dropping the times. But we do enough to get through to the top qualifying. Excellent. Okay, through to the top qualifying. So we're here to fight against our competitors. Let's see what type of time we can do. I'm going to go out on the medium soft combination to put in a banker lap, see how we go, come back in, switch for a soft soft because we know the race is going to be wet. Some stepping out of the rear there. Got some wheel spin and that's going to cost us some time. Better through there. So currently we're doing slower than what we did in the first qualifying session.
that spinning of the rear did lose us time. So hopefully we can gain a little bit here. Still quite wobbly through there. But it is two, two tenths faster at this stage. So let's return to the pit. And let's put on a soft soft and go for a full time attack. Let's do it. Currently sitting in third, so that's not a bad recovery at all, but we do want to give it another shot. As our qualifying time for Q1 was faster than this. Okay, so as the time's moved on, we slipped down to fourth. Let's see if this soft soft gives any effect here. Softs are definitely giving us more pace to work with. Lucky we saved it for qualifying two, or this top qualifying session anyway. Taken a 1.3 jump forward here. Aldeguez coming out onto track and has disturbed our time there. But I think that pretty much ends our run anyway. At this stage, but hopefully we've put, put ourselves in a position for pole.
We'll just ease up here. The only person who's looking like they can be close is Lowe's. There's Lowe's, so let's let him pass. He's on a hot lap. And no, he's aborted the lap. He could have bid on for an improvement there, but seemingly aborted the lap. Okay, so it's, we're in pole position from Sam Lowe's and from Pedro Acosta, so we've put ourselves in the best position to keep ourselves ahead of Acosta here. Okay, so the Sunday race is here, but the biggest problem is it's wet, and we've only had probably about mm, 10 minutes in the wet. So I think everyone's going to be a little bit all over the place. But, we've got to do the best we can do, right? So medium, medium, that's what it's going to have to be. Now let's see what we can do. Get some power mode 3 off the line. Careful and ginger through turn one. Breaking a little bit earlier as it's wet. Oh, but we managed to pull it up just. That's okay, we're seeming to make it work. Trying to take it easy through here. We don't want to crash and lose any points that we need to. Gotta be careful of those white lines in the wet.
we're just managing to make it work here at the moment. We're finding some pretty good pace in the wet. The AI will get stronger towards the end of the race as we've seen in races like India. Still a long way to go in this race. Deep here. Got a little bit of a front wobble there. Nothing too serious at this stage. AI are definitely starting to pick up the pace a bit here. So Costa's closer than he's ever been. He's made a move there. Definitely made a move back through on Acosta.
but boss just kind of forcing our hand here to have to go a bit faster. Which is wise, because now he's putting pressure on us. Which could force us into a mistake. But if we just stay calm... Put a few good laps in. Oh, we're running wide here. Oh, and we flicked. So we've got to get moving here. We have made a little bit of a mistake. It's got to stay calm. Oh, we're down again. Gonna use some power mode three here. Okay, so now it's going to be a little bit of a battle, but we've got to get ourselves back into the points. So we're just going to try and stay calm here. Don't make any super irrational moves. here oh come on how is that even
it's not a huge disaster because we'd still be leading the championship, but Japan has not been giving us great vibes here. Run wide here. Well, we're going to finish in dead last here. Not the way we wanted to. I think we definitely would have had pace to achieve a podium. But, um,. If we would have been able to remount, we would have been able to stay in the fight for the podium. But it's not to be. But lucky we've had enough of a buffer, points buffer, to be able to ensure that... I mean, it's not great, but we still live to fight another day in the championship. So disappointingly, um, we finished dead last there, but uh, we've still got some room in the championship, which is good. It's close, but we're leading by 12 points. We're still 31 points ahead of Costa. Okay, so let's see if we can get some good momentum going into the next rounds. We're still fourth in the overall team's championship. Alright, so if you've liked this one, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single episode. Alright, stay safe, have fun, see you on the next one. Bye!